What's going on, guys? So we do a little bit of a different video, have a little chat. Uh, so I get asked all the time, like, what's going to happen with this cycle? Are we going to stick to the traditional four-year cycle? Are we going to, um, are we going to have an abbreviated cycle? Like, what's going on? There's so much confusion throughout the entire market right now. Uh, a lot of people saying that it's going to be an abbreviated cycle and it's going to peak in December of this year. Um, other people saying no, the traditional four-year cycle. Um, and how I feel about it, what we should be doing about it. Well, guys, for me, what I'm doing about it, my personal opinion is that I'm sticking loyal to the four-year cycle because everything except for Bitcoin is right on pace for the four-year cycle. Nothing has really changed in that aspect except the price action of Bitcoin because of the ETFs. You can almost say that it's an artificially inflated price increase for Bitcoin. But the rest of the market in terms of the altcoins and everything else has performed at the exact same pace for the most part that it, that it has in the last two cycles. So in saying that, <clears throat> uh, I think that the bull run is going to kick off somewhere around October, November. When I say the bull run, I mean the parabolic part of the bull run, right? So I think around October, November, possibly December, we'll start to see things start to go parabolic. That's the starting line, okay? Now, I think that the finish line is going to be somewhere around uh, May, June of next year, 2025, okay? So... If we're looking at that, that's your window to dollar cost average out of the market. Um, that's what I personally will be doing. However, uh, that being said, you also have to remember that when you're dollar cost averaging out of the market, when you're taking your profits and stuff, what you need to focus on is your price points, not on timing, right? Never try to time the market. What we do on the member side for our members is uh, we pick price points for each project where we think the price is going to go as in the peak of the market and where we should be starting to dollar cost average our way out of said uh, said project, right? Take Jasmine for example, right? If you think Jasmine's going to go to a dollar, well, you should start lathering your way out around 46, 47 cents. Take a little bit out, let the price pump a little more, take a little bit more out. You'll work your way up until you get to a dollar. If you try to sell it all at a dollar, I mean, you can try, but look what happened with Dogecoin in the last bull run. I'll use it as an example, right? Dogecoin, everyone thought it was hitting a dollar. It hit, hit about 73 cents and then plummeted, right? So you don't want to marry a price target. You don't want to marry a project like that, right? You end up getting stuck. So if you think Jasmine is going to go to a dollar, there's a good chance at that psychological level that Jasmine only ends up going to 75 to 85 cents or something like that. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but I'm saying that it's possible. So don't play yourself. Learn how to dollar cost average out of the market. If you need help with that stuff, guys, click the join button, become a member of the channel. It's incredibly cheap. You get help with your portfolio structure, help with your exit strategies, help with your profit taking and so much more. There's over 270 members on that side, very knowledgeable, like-minded community. Definitely, you're going to want to check that out, guys. Um, but that's what I think is going to happen. That's the strategy that I'm sticking to for this bull run. And that way, if, listen, if if we are in an abbreviated cycle, I have my price points. So if we do hit these price points in November, December, instead of May, June of next year, well, guess what? I guess I'll be out of the market in, in um, November, December instead, right? That works for me. I'm picking my price points and I'm exiting. If the market continues to pump after that, I don't care. It's none of my business where the price goes after I've exited it, okay? And that should be your mindset too. Set your goals, set your price points, stick to your strategy, and you will win in crypto. I promise you that. So hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Click the join button down below if you want the help from the member side. Definitely check that out. Uh, follow me over on X. Join the Discord. Uh, once again, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.